Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is book to movie adaptions that would be better animated. Well, let's see if you can guess what I'm going to say because it's a frequent topic amongst these vlogs. I think uh, the best book to movie adaptions to animate would be Lovecraft. Not because I like Lovecraft, although I do, but because one of the problems that Lovecraft books have for adaption is that the monster is unspeakable, indescribable, something outside of humanity's comfort zone that the core of Lovecraft, that the universe isn't this place that's designed to fit with us. So the horror is often the disjunction between humanity and another equally valid part of the universe in a paradigm where neither of those things actually has any right to exist. So Whilst there are some Lovecraft adaptions out there that are live action that I do like, uh, Die Farb, which is based on The Colour Out of Space, being uh, one of my favourites, and pretty much anything by the H.P. Lovecraft Historical Society, so Call of Cthulhu, Whisper in Darkness, and so forth. Whilst I do like the ones, they suffer from, when it actually gets to revealing the monster, there are humans who look like humans because they are human and the monster which is made of something. And for, particularly for the H.P. Lovecraft Historical Society where they've made them as an homage to the films of the time the story was originally released, they have the monsters look like the monster of the time. So in Call of Cthulhu it's a black and white coming up towards the ear of the talkies film with those kind of special effects whisperer in darkness it's just as sort of we've got live act, we've got better filmography we've got the talkies but we don't have cgi yet so it's rubber motion monsters and whilst they fit within the paradigm of the film they are obviously not real in the way that humans are real. Whereas in Lovecraft stories, the humans are real and the monster is real. And the horror is in the fact there are these two realities that don't really comprehend each other. So I think animation would work better for many Lovecraft tales. Not because it would get over the problem of being able to represent on screen something that's not really comprehensible in human terms, but because it would remove that dichotomy between humans who look like humans because they are, and monsters who look like CGI stroke rubber stroke man in a suit because they are. And moving on from that, I think a lot of horror would benefit from that potentially some of the more abstruse fantasy. Anything where you've got something that's not real in a particular and noticeable way is they can do great things with makeup at the moment, they can do great things with CGI, but you can't do a vast amount more than morph someone's shape, put makeup on them, put some CGI on. You can't actually have the thing that isn't real be real for the purposes of your film, as real as a human. So animation, for me, work, would work best for stories where things are different from humans, but still equally real. So you take away the reality of the humans rather than trying to create 
the reality of the monsters. Doodaloo!